So talk to me about your, your experience um, starting off with, you know, beforehand you were just, uh, you, you talk to us about your setup. You're, you're, you're in Rockwell currently. Yeah. So originally pre Arroyo, I was doing six inch Hugo's and I was doing, and then uh, into Unis slabs. And now I've gone the, uh, the slab God tech, which is the Delta <laughs> 6.5s into the, uh, I, I think they, I, the people I buy them from, they call them expert slabs or the three inch by six inch by yeah. six inch. So, um, and so I've, I've, in this facility, I've had three runs. And my third run here was the first run I had with Arroyo. And it, like to put in perspective, I almost just about doubled my yield, uh, just about wow. a, little, a little less than double, but, um, like the big nice. changes. Yeah. Yeah. The big yeah. changes were, you know, obviously getting veg on point and it's not just, Again, all those things I had been doing pre Arroyo, you know, you know, I kind of follow the typical Grodan literature, which was, you know, vegetative, you're looking to start your irrigations like an hour after lights on, you know, I think you ended a couple hours before lights off, you try and hit your, you know, your lowest EC, I think, what, four hours into the day or six hours in kind of at noon for the plants. Um, you know, I, I was getting, you know, what I thought were, you know, good results and then, you know, the whole transformation with Arroyo was, you know, it's like getting the light levels right and getting those dry backs and veg right. And, you know, the, like the biggest things I noticed were just like the roots and veg were just got out of control. And, you know, I, I saw like reduced internodal spacing in veg. And, you know, then going into flower, you know, it's really tr trying to create a transition where there isn't any stress, you know, whether it's too much light, too little light, humidity, VPD, all that stuff. And, you know, so the first run, obviously learning this, this run that I have going right now, I, you know, I basically, you know, I over vegged my plants, you know, I thought that they were going to grow a little slower. And, you know, again, they just, you know, it, it, the thing I'm starting to really notice is, is that when stuff is on point, how fast the plants grow and like the oh, results yeah. you get. Yeah. It's really crazy, you know, and I'm already at my target height. I think I'm in day like 16 17 right now i still have probably another five six days of stretch i got you know a strain that's grown three inches a day right now it's already over 72 inches you know I, i'm <laughs> so you know it's you know like the things we talked about you know i'm upping my light level i'm running as high ec as possible and it's like you know the dry backs are absurd you know it's just it's you know i guess it's like good problems to have right the plants are doing so well it's you know yeah. a pain in the ass to kind of handle them so <laughs> you know right. you know again it's all the things i'm learning now that you know i can always look to the next run to kind of try and improve and you know again it's getting that right starting height so you get that that finishing Absolutely. height and then again you know it's trying to reduce and put as many nodes in that height as you can and you know look Absolutely. you know look you know look behind lance those those things look fucking beautiful <laughs> <laughs> 